Well, y'all, it's that time of the year. Just about this time every November is decommit season. And there's a couple of players. There's one that just decommitted and a second one that should be decommitting in the next couple of days. We're going to talk about both of them. All that coming up here in about 10 seconds. Hey, hey, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Jay here with Unfair Sports, talking OU football, college football, and sports in general. In this video, me and my main man, Coop, is going to talk about Anthony Hill, who just decommitted from Texas A&M, as well as a potential decommit for Oklahoma, Colton Vasek. We'll go into details about them in just a moment. But while you're here, hit that like button. That helps us small content creators grow our channels. Makes us look good to the YouTube algorithm. And subscribe if you want to see more of this content. Hit that bell notification. That way you can get more of uh, this content. And let us know what you think about these recruits. You think Oklahoma got a chance to try to steal away Anthony Hill? I don't know. There's a lot of recruits out there. Uh, we would love to dive into them as well as can we keep Colton Vasek? Give me your comments in the in the comment section below. And uh, let's dive right into it, shall we? So it is... Decommit season. We are at the point of the season where teams are starting to see the outcome of their year, and you're starting to hear about players deciding to make a decision, make their business decisions as to what they want to do, where they want to be, and how they want to play. And so, big announcement came out today that I thought was very much um, something that we should need to talk about was Anthony Hill, the number one linebacker in this class consensus, has decommitted from Texas A&M. So let me ask you this question. Um, is things okay in uh, the home of um, Texas A&M? Uh, we knew that this was – we knew we, we knew this was coming. Um, it's not going to be the only one. Um, you know, this guy is – you know, it, it, when you have a lot of mercenaries going to place because of cash, um, the cash starts getting closer to what AM was offering uh, legally. And but then all of a sudden, mm -hmm. people who are actually doing something, um, this is a, a, when you say that, um, you know, our defensive <laughs> deficiencies have been hidden uh, by our stellar offense. Well, AM has been hiding that quarterback shenanigans that they've been throwing out there for years by a great defense and some pretty decent skill players that just can go off. Um, their quarterback situation is horrible. And now yeah. that defense is worn out. These are kids. These are, there's a lot of 18 and 19 year old boys out there. Uh, they're grown men, but don't get me wrong, but their, their season's not this long and they haven't been beat up by the sec. Um, you know, week in and week out. Uh, they've, I gotta say, they've played some tight games, but when you look at that record, uh, you know, they're not going to a bowl game. Um, they are going to continue to see decommits left and right. Um, there's more coming. I would say probably in the six to eight range of decommits um, just from, you know, some of the stuff that I've seen. And, and because seeing Anthony, He'll go ahead and decommit. And right now, if you, for you all to know, the favorite to get his services is going to be Texas right now. Uh, yeah. He's supposed to be doing a visit this weekend. But it's kind of mixed into everything else that's going on at A&M. Not only are they doing a whole bunch of losing, that's a lot worse than what Oklahoma's doing right now. Yeah. But at the same time, they uh, they keep suspending their freshmen, these true freshmen from that number one class. So it seems like they're just getting a whole bunch of boy players that are either A, bad character, or B, just not disciplined because their coaching is that bad. And I'm not sure which one it is, to truly be honest, because it is Jimbo Fisher. And I've talked ad nauseum about Jimbo and how I don't – I feel like he he's expired years ago and everybody else is saying the exact same thing. And so with Anthony, Mr. Hill, like I said, consensus, uh, five star cross the board monster of a linebacker. It's crazy to me that he actually is leaving. And so this is kind of his, his note that he sent out first. I'd like to thank Texas A&M coach Santucci and staff for recruiting a developing personal relationship with me and my family. Thank you for Texas A&M fans. Great support throughout my recruitment. Further difficult discussions with my family, I'll be decommitting from Texas A&M and opening up my recruitment. Now, this is the funny thing about this is that 
everyone talks about Texas A&M winning these kids because of money. And so money, 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 they're going to get all this money, blah, blah, blah. And he's leaving. So it tells me something. Money isn't everything mm-hmm. to a lot of these players. Yeah. And when you find those players that don't care about the money like that, I mean, they're going to probably, he's going to get money somewhere, but A&M's thrown out the most and we know it. Them and yeah. Miami are literally just boatloads of NIL deals. <sighs> this kid is looking for an opportunity to compete in a better circumstance. And I guess with everything going on there in tech in at A&M right now, ain't looking good. It's looking bad. And so it's, uh, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's awful. And um, Jimbo Fisher's uh, $82 million buyout. Right. And so that's more than that right now. Well, I think that if you think about it this way, it's whatever his salary is at the year, he just drops okay. by his salary because it's fully guaranteed. So, yeah. So whatever happens next is whoever goes going to go in there, they're going to know um, the pressure that they're going to be in. And so you, you're going to see someone asking around 10, you know, twelve million dollars a year minimum for anybody else that they're going to get in there. Look, I've been telling people it's like I'll, people are saying, "Oh, if A and M want to, they'll get the money together and they'll buy him out." I'm like, BS. The problem you run into with that circumstance is that they're going to have to come up with two hundred million dollars, mm-hmm. the eighty to ninety million they got to pay Jimbo Fisher, and then they got the additional hundred and something million they got to come up with for the new coach because that's yeah. what they're going to have to do. Every, they're going to be paying like almost thirty million dollars a year in t- in coaching salaries if they fire Jimbo today and bring somebody else in, because no coach is going to be stupid enough to go there for less than ten million, less than no. what Jimbo's make. The, everyone's going to say, "I saw your Jimbo Fisher contract. I'm not stupid. Yeah. I'm better than Jimbo. If you want me, you're paying me twelve to fifteen minimum, if not more." So yeah, or the price of the brick clients. went up. <laughs> My oh, oh yeah, Jimmy here. Sexton's probably going to be the yeah. one agent for it because he's yeah. the agent for every coach in the SEC. And he's going to walk yeah. in there and say, hey, man, yesterday's prices are not today's prices. The price of the brick just went up. So make a decision. Yeah. How are you going to do this? So with that, Anthony is he's going to do a visit with Texas. He's expected to sign with Texas. I don't think that any other school really has an opportunity to win him. Um, he's good. He's a player. But now he's going to be taking, like you said, his talent somewhere else. But as we continue to talk about uh, decommit season, as this is something on there, unfortunately, Sooner fans, this is one of them that's going to sting us very much, is that we're probably going to lose our main man, Colton Vasek. Um, Vasek is a defensive end out of, uh, out of Westlake, Texas, uh, in the Austin area. And this is kind of the thing about him. I put up a video about him that talked about Colton picking Oklahoma over Texas as he's a legacy Texas person. His yeah. dad played at Texas. And, you know, of course, you all saw the video. I was excited that we were to steal him away. We've never won any players from Westlake ever, if I'm correct, because yeah. it's right there in Austin and it's basically a breeding grounds for the Longhorns. And so... There's been speculation for weeks, and now it looks like it's going down. We're going to lose Colton, unfortunately. Um, Saddens me, but at the same time, I get it. Close to home, your dad played there. Why not? So um, Colton is a consensus top 150 player in the country, 21 at the edge position, 26 in his state. Um, Is he the only one out there? No. We still got P.J. Adebayo, who is – going to probably get a lot of game time um, early in his career. He's not someone to be concerned with. And there's other players, and we're going to talk about other offers that we did later in another video. But when, you, when you've when been hearing the news on this, Coop, what was your thoughts around our boy Vasek going ahead and chunking the deuces to senior nation? Well, obviously, the, uh, the big thing at, is that uh, we all knew that this was going to be a battle to the uh, pen on paper. Uh, every single day, uh, he is surrounded by people in Austin. Um, his father, you know, he's been to almost every single one of these games. And it, when it's when it comes down to it, it's that's that's hundred percent what you're dealing with. Is you're dealing with a kid who lives in Austin. Um, this is a good player, um, but it, it's 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 time um, he took off uh, the his commitment uh, pin on Twitter. Uh, anything in his uh, sig line about OU. He's uh, obviously been liking a lot of Texas stuff. So 
I give it a 95% chance that this kid is going to make a decision to stay home, make everybody around him happy. And that's tough. Uh, that that's a tough thing to do. Um, you know, again, you, 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 you talk about recruiting your own problems. I think that there's an issue here, um, that, you know, if he was going to commit to us and then all this happens, I mean, Texas is, you know, it, it's not like they're undefeated right now. Right. Um, they are, they are absolutely, um, a good team. No, 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 you're right. And that's the crazy thing about that is that, um, this was not, this is more of a, we kind of expected it. We hoped that we would win him over, but at the same time when it seems like it's probably pressures being pushed on his parents and pushed on, uh, the family because their legacy to be like, Hey man, we really want him in Texas. You should bring him to Texas, blah, blah, blah. It's not something that you're going to always want to battle on. And I get it, you know, it, it, so to me, if there's anything sooner nation, sooner fans, don't go attack the kid. You don't, you don't know what's going on behind the scenes, family wise and all of that jazz. If he goes good luck to him, can't wait to see him in the red river every year. And, uh, hopefully we can make sure that he does nothing productive against us, which is the only thing I care about. If he does productive against everybody else, great. Go to the league. Yeah. Hope you get a chance. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, if not, I mean, remember Texas ain't didn't put nobody in the draft last year. So hopefully that's not the case when it comes to Vasic and anybody else if he decides to go ahead and flip. But at the same time, I've said this at the beginning, nobody's committed anywhere until the line on the of the, until they have they have written their name. They have signed their name on the line, which is dotted. Until yeah. they sign and say that this is my LOI, my letter of intent, and I'm here. Don't matter. Don't matter. They're they they are technically free agents. So yeah, we'll see what that looks like <clears throat> later. With that, we appreciate y'all tuning in to Unfair Sports. Coop, thanks again for pulling up as you always do. Most definitely. You can find the man right here, his Twitter account right there in the scroll at the bottom. You can see mine as well. Please, while you're here, hit the like and the subscribe button as well as share because sharing is caring. Jump in the comments and let us know what you think about the video. Give us your thoughts. Are you happy, sad? Do you like a recruit? Not like the recruit? Do you like the review? Not like the review? Whatever. Jump in the comments, interact with us. We will definitely reply back to you all. So with that, we will chop it up with you all. I don't know, in about a day or two. All right. Thank you.